get nasty here. Next level guitar. Had to find a way out of that. I was about ready to get lost for a long period of time right there. Dave was just going to be staring at me. It would have got weird. So, everybody, let's get into it. We're going to have a fun Inspired by Lesson today. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Alrighty. So, here is the best part. See that link below in that YouTube text box? All you got to do is click on that link and you're going to get some cool stuff. What are you going to get? You're going to get a free lesson, not available on YouTube, and you get a cool coinciding ebook. And it's all free. And all you do is you just click on that link. So go ahead and do that real quick and come on back and check out the video. Some good clean sounds, some simple chords, but really it's going to be cool because we're going to do this mix of major and minor, which I think is a good uh, way to add some dynamic into your music and into your songs. So initially going to do an E dominant seventh chord up here off the fifth string. Real nice shimmery kind of sound. And we're going to embellish our A chord by playing it kind of the old bluesy way with your thumb over the top. Essentially I am playing this bar chord out here, but I'm going to use my thumb over the top and I like that because I can use my pinky to get some extended notes off of the high E string here on the seventh fret and or the third string. And it's a fun way to play around. So within that, I'm thinking E major, C sharp minor is my relative minor, right? Um, easy way to think of this. If you're playing a major scale and you want to know what your relative minor is, it's always the sixth note. So we're going to keep it light. Tons of information about that uh, that I've done on the website, Next Level. If you feel like you need to pause this, go check that out and come back. Click on that link. It's got all that good stuff in it. Um, but we want to make sure that we're going to be aware of this because I'm going to use C sharp in this position to solo. Now what's kind of nice about finding it that way is I'm going to take on a different tonality with it. I'm thinking that way because a lot of times people don't realize that major and minor pentatonic scales are the same scales. And when I'm playing C sharp minor, I'm also really playing E major pentatonic. So what's cool, I get all those old school sounds that I can use and experience my playing and jam it out a little bit between these two voicings of chords. So things that I'm going to do in this position, I'm going to do some double stops. I'm going to turn this way so you can kind of see how I rake into the double stops. With an upstroke, I'm really focusing on this finger blocking this, uh, you know, the higher strings here, depending upon where I'm going to be. Say, for example, I want to go to the fourth string, my B note, if I'm on an upstroke, I should be able to slowly drag it enough. And, you know, I don't want to over-exaggerate it too much, but everything's going to be a, a percussive sound until I get to that root note. Or my intended note, I should say. Right? So that's good. Now, if I end that with a double stop, you get this nice kind of sound. Now, that's tricky because I am focusing on these strings here, but I'm coming into that with an upward motion. And it sounds really, really fun. I can hammer on a pull-off. And then when I ascend with it, it's a classic run people do all the time. And then the double stop on the strings below it. So you can do that all the time. And if you rake into the first one, so I'm going to do this lick, right? But I'm going to start with a downstroke, I'm going to rake. And I get that. If I pull off here, and then I do it with like this, that's ultimately going to be my lick. So pull off, rake, lick, lick, rake, and I'm out. Now that's just these two chords. Now I'm going to go to a C major chord. Now you're thinking, C is not major in the key of A, and you are correct. We're going to the G major now. And we use the IV chord or the C chord, or your subdominant, in your schooled way of saying it, right? Your subdominant chord to transfer to another key. So I hit that, and then I went to the relative minor of the key that I transferred to. So let's say that again. I hit the IV chord, which is C major, of the desired key fourth chord in the scale. And then I go to the relative minor to give me a sense of closure. Let everybody know where I'm at. 
And what's cool about this is we've been soloing an E major the whole time. And now I can just take this scale and I can shift it up to 12 and I could play the same kind of things and now I've got a whole different feel. So let's listen to what that sounds like. I'll start on the C. Just strumming it out, right? Building up for it. One E. Hit the low E string maybe. But I've transferred into another place. It's an educated way of changing keys by just being aware of what the chords are. So we're here. We're serenading the ladies. Maybe that's what we're doing. We're just being nice and, you know, sensitive. All you teenagers out there, you might want to know this. Wait, it's a guitar site. I'm not a life coach, just throwing that out there. experience that you know there's not a lot of songs that you can jam at home in your bedroom that make you feel like you're in a band already and you have this really great dynamic change of major and minor and that's important I think that's really really important we can go to the D chord maybe which is the five of my G key of G okay just saying that's the key that we changed to and I can go to that D and I can hang on that because that D chord and the key of A is a major chord, and that is going to transfer me. It's the four chord in the key of A, and that's going to take me back to being able to go to my E major. And back to my A. So what we're noticing is, is we have a simple way to jam pentatonics. That's the first thing that we want to think about. Even if you just took the E and the A chord and played here and did all those double stops, that's enough to last you a week in itself, right? Um, from there, we're going to transfer by using the four chord, or the C major chord in the key of G, following it up by the relative minor. And that's how I'm gonna make sure that I can get there to play an E minor pentatonic, and then do all those licks. It's a lot to think about, but it's simple because it's a popular song, and these things are best taught with songs that you hear every day. So, go to the website, it's a lot to think about. Try this out at home, with your own progressions, and your own way of thought. That's the most important thing. We do these things so that way you can get lost in them at home and be inspired by way, what we're giving you because we were inspired by the lessons themselves. So everybody, nextlevelguitar.com, thank you so much. I'm going to jam in the first part of this and I will see you next time. Thank you.